Hello everybody and welcome to our channel English Grammar with Amaya sir and uh, today we are going to deal with pronunciations. Now before we go any further, first and foremost I've got to tell you that we are going to deal with the Indian English here. So what I have done in this video is when I give you the options, I have also used the Devanagari script that is a local written script to make you understand the pronunciations better. So we will deal with the pronunciations as they are expected in India because here the trend is more to follow the, the, the UK English, the British English because color is spelled C-O-L-O-U-R not C-O-L-O-R here in India. So bear that in mind and uh, well of course uh, how to um, you know really sound better is what you would learn from this video so let's get started how to go about it and each slide will have a word which is generally mispronounced there will be 10 words in all that we will learn i will offer three options every time you should choose the correct Approximately five seconds will be granted as your thinking time. Again, like every other um, exercise, if you think that the time is too short, you should pause and only then continue when you have the answer. Okay. Uh, after this, the correct answer shall be revealed in the subsequent slide. Of course, be honest, sincere in your effort and do leave your final score in the comments. As usual, before we begin, you know what I'm going to say. I'm going to say all the best okay so you don't need a pen and paper for this exactly but keep your score in mind because this is pronunciation so you should be honest while revealing what your final score is let's get started if you are ready and the first word c o n c e p t Okay, C O N C E P T. So, what do you think this word is? Should it be uh, pronounced as concept, or is it concept, or are both of them correct? I repeat, is it concept, is it concept, or are both correct? The thinking time starts now. Okay, your five seconds are up and the correct pronunciation is second option, concept. You can't be saying concept, it is concept. By the way, if you see this particular uh, apostrophe here, that shows the stress. So you should say concept. You should not say concept, you should say concept. The stress is right from the start. Now, let's use it in a line. The line is I explained him the concept in detail. You can't say I explained him the concept in detail. That is a very important point to note. Let's proceed. Look at this word A L T E R N A T I V E. So, what do you think it is? Is it alternative? Is it alternative? Or are both the pronunciations okay? I repeat, is it alternative? Is it alternative or are both of them correct the time starts now okay so your time is up and the correct pronunciation is option one you always say alternative you can never say ah you, you have to pronounce it as or oh. alternative let's use it a line we don't have any other alternative. We don't have any other alternative. Alternative. I'm sure you're having a, you know, a nice time here. Well, the third one, D-I-R-E-C-T-I-O-N. Is it direction? Is it direction? Or are both of them correct? I repeat, is it direction? Is it direction? Or are both of them okay? The thinking time starts. Okay, your thinking time is up and the correct 
answer is number three both are right you can either say it as direct or you can say direct so you are going in the right direction or you are going in the right direction uh, i hope because if you got it right you are going in the right direction anyway number four c o n s e r v a t i o n i repeat c o n s e r v a t i o n how should this word be pronounced number one conservation or number two conservation or number three are both of them okay i repeat number one conservation number two conservation or are both of them correct the thinking time starts now all right time is up time to reveal the answer number one you always pronounce it as conservation notice again that the apostrophe is here so it is conservation you can't say conservation you have to say conservation now here i would like to point out that if the word is without the i o n then you can definitely uh, pronounce it as conserve but then otherwise it has to necessarily be with the i o n it is always conservation so let's use it in a line conservation of the species is important to maintain the balance in the ecosystem before we move to the next i would again like to point out that i have uh, chosen words which are very contemporary which you will see uh, all around you the ubiquitous have taken good care uh, to you know i've tried to give you the best okay number five we're getting there in a halfway mark uh d i d n apostrophe t so what is it should i say didn't or should i say didn't or i can say it either way i repeat the option number one is didn't option number two didn't or option number three both are right the thinking time starts now hmm so your thinking time is up and you should be saying it as option one didn't now the point i'm making here is that the second d is not silent you it's a very common thing you would hear people say didn't the second d is not silent you have to say didn't let's use it in a line i asked her many times but she didn't reply i repeat i asked her many times but she didn't reply okay number six o double c a s i o n and how should you say it should it be occasion should it be occasion or are both of them okay i mean either of other ways i repeat option one is occasion option two was occasion and number three both of them are right the thinking time starts all right so the correct answer the correct way to pronounce is number one occasion just because it begins with o don't be tempted to say occasion or occasion or any other way it is purely occasion notice again that the apostrophe is right over here so the stress is from occasion so it is occasion let's use it in a line on the occasion of their anniversary the couple sang a romantic duet okay number seven p l u m b e r my god this in india is really misprint if i believe if uh, there are people who would say hey why wasn't this number one just making it clear that there is no set order but uh, yeah this could have easily been the number one in our list p l u m b e r well should it be plumber should it be said as plumber or are both of them okay and your time starts now okay your time is up the correct pronunciation is of course with a silent b plumber you don't say plumber b is silent just as silent as it is in the word doubt or debt okay so b is silent you've got to say plumber but over here uh, in these parts of the world it's very common for people to make the sound of b the pipe was choked so we sent for a plumber okay sent for by the way is called okay the pipe was choked so we sent for a plumber 
Number eight, I double M E D I A T E L Y. Is it immediately? Is it immediately? Or are both of them correct? What do you say about this one? I repeat, is it immediately? Is it immediately? Or are both of them okay? So your time starts now. How to correctly do it? And your time is up and the correct way to say it is number three. Both of them are correct. So you could have said it either way. They both are right. Let's use it in a line. The boss wanted the work done immediately. Or you could say the boss wanted the work done immediately. They both are correct. Move to the penultimate one, the second last one. O-F-T-E-N. Is it often? Is it often? Or both are right. What do you say? Time starts now. And your time is up and the correct answer is they both are right. You could say often. You could also pronounce the T and say often. The T is not silent there. Okay. It's not the case with listen. You can't be saying that as a listen. That is definitely listen. But in this case, often, often, you can say it. And let's use it in line. We often come across students who are confused about their objectives, or you could say we often come across students who are confused about their objectives. And the last one, but not the least, well, the school teachers sometimes go wrong with this. Is it number one, hyperbole? Is it hyperbole? Is it hyperbole? Okay, what do you think it is? Is it hyperbole? Is it hyperbole? Is it hyperbole? So, your time starts now. It's a figure of speech and your time is up and you should be saying it as nothing other than hyperbole. That's how you say it, okay? Hyperbole. And let's use it in line. The figures of speech or rather the figure of speech is hyperbole since it is an overstatement. When you have exaggeration, uh, you say that it is hyperbole. All right, so what was your score? How well did you perform? Um, I hope you enjoyed the experience and do leave your comments. Of course, do leave your final score. Up until next time, as I always say, keep learning, keep enjoying, keep getting better. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you so much for participation. Up until next time, bye-bye.